As we take a look at the tail of the tape, Gaethje, 24 years of age, 5'10", checked in at 155.8 pounds. There you see his reach. Dan Lozon is 25 years of age, 6 feet tall and a little heavier, and an inch and a half reach advantage. The rules of the World Series of Fighting are simple. A 10-point must system is in effect. Three judges score the fight. It's all based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and, of course, cage control, and the WSOF no kicks or knees to the head of a grounded opponent. We now set it inside the cage. Jazz Securo has the official introductions. Here we go, fight fans. Here we go, South Florida. Time for our first fight of the night. And now, this fight is scheduled for three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Lightweight Division. Introducing fighting out of the blue corner. His record, 17 wins versus four defeats. He is currently riding a five-fight win streak. He stands six feet tall. He weighed in at 158 pounds even. Fighting out of East Bridgewater, Connecticut. Introducing Dan the Upgrade Lozal. His opponent on my left, fighting out of the red corner, an impressive record with nine victories, no defeats, seven wins coming by way of knockout. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall and weighed in at an even 156 pounds. He fights out of Denver, Colorado, presenting Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And when the action begins, the referee in charge is Jorge Alonso. So here we go in the lightweight division to get things underway on NBCSN. Justin Gaethje taking on Dan Lozon. <laughs> Dan is all red there on his head. Let's you go. see, he's been slapping himself silly. Oh, fair. In typical Gaethje fashion, he's going to come out and he is going to push the pace. And that's what I thought was going to happen. I thought that. The upgrade was going to come forward, push him backwards, because then you take the striking skills away from your opponents. Very hard to fight backwards. Look at that. Yeah, against a great wrestler, it's very hard to take him down. Like I said, you see, on this short distance, even you can see there's power in those engages. Oh, shots. wow. Ay, ay, ay. They come together. Dan Lozon, now remember, he's only gone the distance in his career twice. And that's out of 21 professional fights. So I don't know if Justin Gaethje would want to take this thing a full three rounds. And at the pace they're going, boss, it'd be surprised if they get out of the first round. Oh, he hit him behind the ear. Oh, he still looks fresh. These guys are throwing <laughs> power shots. Look at this. And combinations now coming from Gaethje, which is something I was talking about the last yep. time we saw him fight. He didn't do. He's got so much power, why not? I always say, if one is good, two is better. Dirty oh! And he catches it with a back elbow. Love that. Body shot, hard too. And again. And Gaethje is just keying it. off right now as Lausanne does not seem to have an answer. I think he might have hurt him there with that body shot. He should start throwing knees to the body now. It doesn't matter that Lausanne has the hand there. Just knee on the hand. I'll tell you what, Dan Lozon loads up that left. It connects on Gaethje. He's in trouble. The thing with Lozon is he can go and he can take a shot. Yep, no question. He's got a about lot that. of stamina. The longer it goes, it might be more in favor for him. <laughs> that kick was hard as well. Early fury coming from again. Justin Gaethje. As we go under three minutes to go in this one, it's scheduled for three rounds. Okay, the steam is off a little bit, Litz. Let's see what the hands still do. There's a lot of power in there. Oh, nice look at that. From right through the left straight, love it. And now again, he throws combination, but he goes straight forward, forgets his feet, his foot setting. Halfway through round number one. Gaethje in the white trunks, Lausanne in the black trunks. Oh, nice there. Right up a cut miss, but the left hook connected. Knees to the head. You know, Lausanne has to watch out. He hits the top of the head from Gaethje all the yeah. time. He might break his hand. Gaethje ducks forward. He should fake it left and throw right up a cut. 
Uh, sorry, fake, fake a right. That's where we left up again. He's a southpaw. Oh, that connected. Man, the base these guys are going. Boss, these are two tough cats, and it looks like Lausanne got hurt on that last kick. Yeah, these kicks are so hard. And now the focus will be on those kicks, so it takes a little bit away from the head. And that means that Gaethje probably is going to start raining down punches again. Oh! oh really problematic on the right leg of Dan Lausanne. He should start switching stance now. He cannot stay there. If he's going to get two or three more times, this could be the end. 80 seconds to go here in round number one. And that's a long time when you're hurt. Gacy should stop back, just throw the inside low kicks. Let him walk forward and fire. Left hook, right inside low kick. I don't know why he's... Look at this. It's very nice throwing the, some shots to the legs as a setup. Uh-oh. Yes. Lausanne's in trouble. Dan Lausanne is in trouble as Justin Gaethje is just teeing off on the right leg. And Gaethje says, I don't even going to go to the ground with you. Make him put some weight on that right leg. Yeah, he's switching stance now. And he has to. He's going to kick that one more time. He can almost can't walk. Oh. Yeah. This is going to be his best defense. And Gaethje continuing to target the right leg. He says, I don't want to go down there. Why not? With 23 seconds to go here in round number one, can Lausanne hold on? Justin Gaethje, this is exactly what he does. Yes. Those inside leg kicks. He should throw knees now. Inside knees to the thighs. And it looks like Dan Lausanne will hold on, and we will see a second round here in Florida. Back in Coral Gables, Florida. Let's look at this one more time, boss, with the kicks. I mean, just teed off. Yep, that's what happens when one of them is a southpaw. You can throw inside low kicks with the power leg. But Lausanne should understand he can do the same thing. Figure out just how much damage Gaethje has done. And you look at the stance and the movement of Dan Lausanne, and he is in a bit of pain right there and Gaethje's gonna go right back at it this is this is, <laughs> go for exactly the other what, this is exactly what Gaethje did in his last fight this is so reminiscent of something that Jose Aldo would do he's going for the other leg like a Tony oh. Montana and now the other leg eh? so it's the right leg right now of Dan Lozon that really is giving him problems and Gaethje as boss Rutten pointed out he's now targeting the left leg of Lozon some stiff punches there from Lozon he's still in the game I told you, this guy is tough. Don't count him out. Gaethje should really look for the feet of Lausanne as soon as he switches inside low kick again. And from here, knees to the thighs. Oh, big straight left from Lausanne. Oh, the uppercut. Oh, wow. Oh, he is yeah, just yeah, yeah, cutting yeah, the yeah. tree down. Is just a oh, Gaethje. Nice uppercut there from Lausanne. Oh, the outside leg and the inside. It, it's going to go boss, to work on both legs. We've both been around this fight game long enough to know that as much pain as Lausanne is in right now and how difficult tomorrow morning could be even worse. Oh, this whole week, every time he goes to the restroom. Oh, oh that that's could it. Be it. That is it. Justin Gaethje has shut it down. Man, you know what? I said it before to some people, if Gaethje's gonna pull this off and he can knock him out or stop him anyway, he is on a roll. This guy is gonna go far. Todd Harris, Boss Rutten, as we send it inside the cage for the official decision from Jazz Securo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jorge Alonso has seen enough and stopped this fight at one minute and 40 seconds of round number two. Officially, this is the technical, technical knockout due to strikes. Your winner, Justin, the highlight, Keiichi.
Let's take a look at our highlights courtesy of Boost Mobile in the first round action pack coming from Justin Gaethje, but it really was that second round, boss, where Gaethje turned it up, already attacking the leg, and here we go, coming forward and just working on Lausanne, finding it from multiple levels. Look at that spinning back elbow to the temple. A beautiful round, total domination here. It's just what speed, like you said it, full speed. Comes forward, will not go back. And here was the end, Gaethje getting it done, and the TKO, Justin Gaethje standing by with our Joey Varner. Justin Gaethje, congratulations on a devastating knockout. It was your punches that put him away, but for the second fight in a row, it was your leg kicks that did the damage. Was that your strategy coming into this fight? Uh, my strategy is always just to work hard, man. I take the opportunities I get. I definitely saw him playing on his feet, so yeah, I was trying to tee off on that leg. You started chopping away at that of the first round. He could barely walk back to his corner. Were you surprised that he came out for the second? No, I knew from the beginning that this this was one of my toughest opponents I was gonna face and it's the toughest opponent I have faced. You know, he has heart and that's what I respect. Well, once again, congratulations on your performance. Thank you, I appreciate everything. Yeah. Get ready. Uh huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Be timid, that ain't cool. Nah.